What is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're wondering about this mic situation we have going on here, uh, I once bought this Rode mic suitable for iPhones and I forgot I had it. Now I remembered so I thought I'm gonna use it now and it comes with this uh, wind stopper kind of thing so I thought we're gonna make a fur ball action going on here. I've been gaining a lot of new subscribers and followers on Instagram and really your guys support is overwhelming and I really appreciate it. I can't really <laughs> even explain. It's just so cool to me. Thank you guys so much. So for today, since I've been showing you guys some pieces that I already own, I thought it's only right that I show you guys some pieces that I want to get in the future and are my grills at the moment. I have like a ton of different items I want and it's really hard to make it into a concrete list of what items are the items that I only want. In this video I'll probably have some items that aren't just one item but are something in general and mostly I'm into the styling aspect of things so my knowledge about these items isn't the best so I'm sorry for that. So I think that's enough introduction. Let's get into the items. I'm gonna first show you guys the footwear, then the pants, then the tops, then the jackets, and then the accessories. But yeah, let's get into the video, man. For the first item in this list, I have a pair of Louis Vuitton trainers. I don't remember what the correct name to them, them are, but I have the low cut in this version in the white and green colorway. But I really like the high tops and in the beige colorway, it's just a really cool shoe in my opinion. Really kind of self-explanatory shoe. It's a Louis Vuitton trainer in a higher cut. And generally I don't see too many cool high top sneakers and these are higher than, you know, your typical Jordan 1 or, you know, Jordans in general. So in this high top, it more actually even looks like a boot and I just really like the look of it. It's super cool in my opinion, Louis Vuitton, and I think Virgil Abloh is actually doing a great job at Louis Vuitton, it's an opinion. And for the price of these, I haven't seen these too much online, so I really don't know, but I think these could go up to $2,000, so that's really a lot for a pair of sneakers. But yeah, let's get on to the next piece. So for the second footwear of this list, we have the... Rick Owens dirt hiking boots from spring summer 18. I wanted these when they came out, didn't have the money then, then they sold out and then they were kind of hard to get and I have a size like uh, 40 foot in European size and Rick Owens tends to fit super big. Some people recommend going two sizes up and then I would have to get a 38 and I don't think they even make that size. so. This might be an item I'll never get, but hopefully I'll find a way to figure it out because I've been wanting these shoes for a long time. I think they just have a cool look to them. All the materials used are obviously amazing. And yeah, I just think these shoes would be cool to style in different ways. And they look like a shoe I could use basically every single day. And these boots go for around like $1,000. Obviously, depends on the condition, but you'll be expecting to pay around around $1,000 for these, but I think it's highly worth it. These shoes are super cool. Rick Owens, spring, summer 18, dirt hiking boots. Let's go on to the pants, man. So for the first item on the pants section on this video, we have a pair of Kiko Kostadinov pants, and really, I just want a pair of Kiko pants. Most preferable pair would be the one from his 0003 collection. Um, they were the, I'll put the name on the screen, I can't remember it now, but they have the pocket on the front, like this kind of flap. They're super cool pants and made in his London studio, so the start of his career, so I mean, it has some, has some cool history to it. And I just think the pants are amazing. Like all the details on Kiko pants are just on another level and I'm really unfortunate to not have a pair because I've been wanting one for a long time. And like I said, Kiko pants are my grail. I can post a lot of different pics of different Kiko pants, like the Bindra Cargos, the Triple Darts. Like, you know, I just want a pair of Kiko pants. <laughs> 
they're just super expensive so i have to kind of build my money up to buy it for sure in the future like for sure in the future i will be buying a pair of kiko pants and i'm actually really looking forward to that so you know subscribe to my channel so you can see my kiko pants in the future <laughs> generally kiko pants are just so cool have unique cuts to them just make your whole outfit look different really i could talk about kiko pants for a long time but i i think for the grail list we'll keep it short and let's go on to the next item so for the next pair of pants we have the calm aware hourglass pants gizmos brand if you don't know Gizmo's channel, he has a YouTube channel as well. One of my favorite YouTubers. He has an amazing style. He has amazing clothes. So make sure to go check him out if you haven't. And yeah, really you can see his vision and stuff through his clothes. And and you can just see how he pays a lot of attention to details. He On these trousers, you have Recogni zips. You have the Cobrax Riri buttons amazing quality materials and then you have the zip on the back that you can kind of alter the fit wear them in different ways wear them with different pants make them look different just really need a pair of these amazing pants and he seems like a really genuine guy so it's something i so it's something i can really support and yeah man come aware hourglass pants let's go on to the next item so for the last pair of pants on this list, we have the Loewe Asymmetric Cargos slash Jeans from Autumn Winter 18. I think these pants are just super cool, have a wider fit to them, and yeah, they're just unique trousers I could see myself wearing really often. You can pair these with a lot of different things, but, but at the same time, it just has unique touches and things you just don't see on a regular item. And I think that's why these pants are really cool. These go for around $500. And I think you could get a steal off them. If you just search enough. And I'm going to be doing that at some point. I think these trousers are really cool. But yeah. I don't think I have too much to say about these pants. You can just kind of see them. And know what I'm talking about. But yeah. That was all the pants. Now let's go on to the top. So for the only top we have in this grail list. Is this knit from Raph Simmons Autumn Winter 17. Um, it's this cropped knit that has a pretty big pocket on the front of the knit. The other sleeve is longer than the other one. Yeah, I just think this knit is really cool. It fits really nicely in my opinion. The colors of these knits are really cool. I just think Autumn Winter 17 was one of Raph's better collections. I think there was a lot of cool knit wear. And I could see myself wearing this a lot, so I only have one top in this list. And basically it's just because I can see myself getting more wear out of shoes, jackets, or pants, basically. Or even accessories, to be honest. That was the only top, like I said. Let's get into the jackets, man. So for the first jacket, we have a Rick Owens puffer jacket. This also for me is like I just want a Rick Owens puffer jacket I've been eyeing I've been eyeing one for so long even on my vlog I was trying one out in Helsinki so if you haven't seen that video you can go check it out I just really like the look of Rick Owens puffers they look super versatile you can wear them in different ways they're super light amazing quality and around here in Finland you tend to need a pretty good winter jacket really this purchase would make a lot of sense for me because I have to wear a warm jacket often. You guys have probably seen a lot of varieties of this jacket. It's just super cool. Even the ones from the Fall Winter 21 collection are super cool. They're a bit more kind of out there uh, compared to the previous seasons, but they're super cool as well. But yeah, Rick Owens jacket, number one on the list. Let's go on to the next jacket. So for the next one, we have a jacket from Kiko Kostadinov's Autumn Winter 21 collection. So a collection that hasn't even got out yet. It's this uh, Maiden Pea Coat or Maiden Coat was the name. I don't have this type of jacket and I really want this kind of jacket in my collection. I just love the details about Kiko jackets and how he 
obviously pays a lot of attention to cuts in his jackets too. Just Kiko's clothes are amazing. He's one of my favorite designers. And the Fall Winter 21 collection was amazing. And I think this coat is really something I could see myself getting a lot of wear out from the collection and kind of see myself investing. Just a super cool jacket in two colorways. Absolute banger. Let's go on to the next jacket. So for the next jacket, I'll show you guys a vest and a jacket because they belong to the same brand and I couldn't decide between these two. And the brand is Namacheco, also one of my favorite brands, just an absolutely amazing brand. Same thing as Kiko, just amazing attention to details and cuts. Just really an amazing brand. I love their clothes. I love the looks of the clothes. I love the materials. And they really suit my style and taste at the moment. But generally, I could speak about the brand at the same time I speak about the jackets and the items because just that's the way I could put these items best into words is just attention to detail and amazing materials. Just like look at how there's uh, the zippers are kind of like the other zipper opens this way, the other zipper opens the other way. The buttons on the bottom part of the jacket are aren't like lined up. Just like everything about these pieces is amazing. And one of the coolest is also the Namacheco's zipper on the jacket. Just an absolutely amazing detail. But yeah, really if I'd have the money, I'd probably buy everything from the Namacheco's Autumn Winter 21 collection. But staying moderate here, we're going to limit it to two pieces. Or actually the vest is from the current season, the Crocus Spring Summer 21. Just two amazing pieces. Let's go on to the last jacket. So for the last jacket, we have the Craig Green Autumn Winter 17 Scuba Jacket. An absolute grail since it came out. Just a super cool piece. Probably don't have too many ways to style it and the price going for around 1700 This jacket won't probably be in my hands for a long time but definitely one of my grails. This is more of like an art piece to me. Just would love seeing this jacket all the time, you know. Put it on the clothing rail, see it, just, you know, look at it. <laughs> just Craig Green's clothes generally, I really like. He has a whole different style than other designers I like, and he just kind of makes, uh, simple clothes look unique like pieces you could wear all the time and just add his touch to them and that's really what i like and in this jacket it's just kind of out there but at the same time the fit is pretty moderate and just generally looks super good just a super cool jacket a grail piece let's go on to the accessories man for the first accessory these also haven't even came out yet. It's from the Prada Fall Winter 21 collection. The first collection with Raf and Mucha Prada collaborating. I just think the collection was super good. The show was nice. The item that I gravitated towards the most were the gloves at the show. Just super unique colors and with the pouch on the like back of the hand. Just looks super cool. I really like these gloves and I don't have any gloves. And I think when done right, gloves could really elevate your outfit. And that's why I really want these gloves. I don't know about the price because they haven't released yet. But they look like they could be pretty expensive. But who knows? I might end up getting them or might not and regret it. Sometimes it goes like that. Really just a cool pair of gloves. Something that I really need. Let's go on to the last piece. So for the last piece, we have watches in general. I have so many watches that I like, all different types of watches. If I would name my absolute grail, it would be the Richard Mill RM 011 Felipe Massa uh, in the light blue colorway. Light blue is my favorite color. 
you could probably kind of see the pattern with these watches I'm putting on here that I really like blue just an ultimate grail I think it's so nice <laughs> probably won't have the money for this in the near future but I mean you can only dream <laughs> this goes probably for around 300 to 400 thousand dollars <laughs> Yeah, maybe if we stay a bit more moderate here. Since a little kid, I've always wanted a Rolex. I don't know, I've just gravitated towards them. And the date just has been a grail for a long time. So I think that will be my first watch purchase when I end up buying a more expensive watch. That won't happen soon, but you know, like I said, you can only dream. <laughs> Those were all the items on my grail list. I have a lot of money to save up apparently. And yeah, I just thought with this video I could kind of show you guys more of the items I like and the styles I like. Because not all my clothes kind of fit into the genre what I would really want to dress in. Because I don't have the money. But yeah man, I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Go check my Instagram out. I've been posting really consistently. You guys have to back me with that. <laughs> Peace out, man.